Hey booktubers, um, I'm going to be doing a library tour today, but um, here in my living room I remember that I had a few books that I could show you guys. Um, some of these are mine, some of them aren't. Um, like this one right here, There and Back Again by Pat Murphy, that's mine. Uh, then we have like The Da Vinci Code, but that's my mom's. Um, Scarlet, which I told you about in another video. Um, Mars Underground by William K. Hartman. That one's mine. And there's those books up there, which are just those digest compilations. And more up there. And then, here up here, I have The Haunting of L by Howard Norman. That one's mine. And then, this one right here. The Innocence Club by Taylor Smith. That one's mine. Uh, so that's all the books that are up here in the living room. And I will now do a bookshelf tour for you guys of my family library. Okay, coming down the stairs here. We have this shelf here. And then you turn. And there it is, folks. Um, now, my siblings are homeschooled. I was too. Started in 8th grade and went to um, a digital school all the way up till I graduated. Uh, so, But my younger siblings are uh, still homeschooled. So that's why all this stuff is sitting here and the computer's there. Um, there's a lot of school textbooks as well as all that there. Those lockers are uh, arts and crafts activity. Um, supplies, things like that. So that way they can do their homeschooling down here. I guess I'll show you, go ahead and show you this right here. Most of these are textbooks. Um, everything here is set for this right here. This is my complete Sherlock Holmes and I put it on this shelf because this is a really big shelf and this is a really huge book. My, I have a pretty big hand and uh, yeah, this thing is, is enormous and it weighs a ton. So I put it on the big shelf. And I also have a couple of records here. This is Oklahoma, Sound of Music, and um, an Incredibles movie poster, which opens up, and yeah. But other than that, those, the rest of those are uh, all textbooks. Same for down here. And these are all health and wellness. Um, they all belong to my parents. Um, all those shelves there and then down there are some magazines that are my mom's so none of those are mine um, coming up here though I have a lot of my movie and TV tie-ins on this top shelf um, here I have like some X-Files books Charmed, Roswell, uh, Angel and Buffy oh, I'm such a huge Buffy fan you have no idea <laughs> I love Buffy. I've always loved Buffy. I think that's the reason why I don't like Twilight very much. It's because I'm such a huge Buffy fan. Uh, yeah, so this is all Angel right here. And Buffy all the way through to here. And I'd like to get more. Um, then here I have Poltergeist The Legacy um, based on the TV show. The M uh, Mummy movie tie-in. Vespers. Gremlins 2. Um couple of horror books through here, like Interview with the Vampire, um, some scary story books. And here I have some uh, more scary story books. These are all like true ghost stories, things like that. Um, here I have a, mo a book on sci-fi movies. So I love sci-fi too. Um, and then I have some like uh, Jurassic Park, uh, Jaws right there. Move this boat out of the way. All right. Um, here are my Lord of the Rings uh, box sets. I have this one right here, which has all four books, and then this one right here has four, all four books too. Uh, but this was the first time the Lord of the Rings books were ever published in paperback, and I got this just recently um, at a garage sale for a buck. So really happy I got that because it is in perfect condition. I mean, there's not a flaw wrong with this thing. It's it's perfect, and I love it. Um, and here I have like some of my uh, choose your own adventure books. So yeah, that's that top shelf there. 
Coming over here, there's some more textbooks, some encyclopedias, all for school, um, except for this one right here, which happens to be the oldest book that I own. It's called uh, Little Masterpieces, and this one is a a uh, auto, uh, a biography of Benjamin Franklin. I think it's from 1901. Yeah, 1901. So that's the oldest book that I own. Coming over here, I have some of my Stephen King hardcovers. Um, most of these are first editions. There are a couple that are just book uh, book club editions, but I won't go into all of that. Here I have The Regulators, Eyes of the Dragon, Misery, Tommyknockers, Needful Things, Nightmares and Dreamscapes, uh, Four Past Midnight, Rose Matter, Dreamcatcher, Hearts and Atlantis, From Buick 8, Everything's Eventual, Cell, uh, Just After Sunset, uh, the Dark Tower 7, The Dark Tower. Uh, this is a library edition, so I'd like to get rid of this and get one that's in better shape. Um, this is Storm of the Century in paperback, and The Dark Tower 4, Wizard in Glass in paperback. Then up here I have, uh, well right here is a Dean Koontz paperback, Frankenstein, Book 5, The Dead Town. Um, and then the rest here are all Stephen King, uh, smaller trade uh, paperbacks of Stephen King books. So I have like Carrie, The Stand, The Dead Zone, and I'll just pan over all of these. Wow. Huh. They pinned the dinosaur there so it wouldn't fall over, so I can't move it anymore. So I'll just have to show you the best I can. Uh, there's Eyes, uh, Eyes of the Dragon and Paperback, Misery, Tommyknockers, Dark Half. Those. Right down here, some more Stephen King of The Shining, uh, Green Mile paperbacks there. Um, my Dark Tower books. Then I have some John Saul, starting here, going all the way through. Um, here's one of Christopher Pike's adult novels. Uh, Wes Craven's book, uh, Fountain Society. I had never known that uh, Wes Craven wrote a book until I saw that at a Goodwill, actually, and I was. Really stunned to find that because I didn't know he wrote anything. So I'm looking forward to reading that. And then I have some Peter Straub. So that's all of that right there. And coming over here, these are all mystery. Um, I'll just pan over them so that way you can kind of get an idea of what I have here. And like some V.C. Andrews right there. Uh, last temp the last Templar is my mom's. Uh, here are some book club edition hardcovers that I have, except for this one up here. It's just a really, really old book that I have. Uh, these are all kind of adventure adventure books. I call the Wild, uh, White Thing, Gladiator, Kidnapped, and the Alexandria Link, which is also my mom's. Coming down here are some financial books that are my stepdad's and down here a few of these books are mine those aren't but uh, here are a couple of my John, uh, John Clive Cussler books I only have two of those at the moment but I want to get more I should probably read some of his stuff first before I get any more though uh, here I have Blood Noir by Laurel K. Hamilton uh, Cycle of the Werewolf by Stephen King uh, Bill Cosby, Childhood, and Jerry Seinfeld, Sign Language. Those are my mom's, though I do like those books. Uh, or my Bombeck, that's also my mom's. Um, this book right here, can't really pronounce that. Uh, but this is a really cool book. It's really 80s looking, and it's not an old book either. I think it was written like 2008. But I just picked that up based on the cover, because I just thought it looked real 80s. and Yeah. Uh, here's another Sherlock Holmes book that I have. I have the same book upstairs. So I have two copies. Um, and here are a couple coin books, a collect, uh, coin collecting books that I have. Down here, uh, there's some travel books in there that I have, but I don't want to dig those out because they're really hard to find in all of these. So, and there's some audio books that are my stepdad's, and those are all my little sister's books down there. Coming over here, I have. Uh, more of my mystery books. Here I have my Patter James Patterson section, going from here all the way to here. And all these are first editions except for this one right here. Just Kiss the Girls. Then I have London Bridges, Cross, The Lake House, Honeymoon, 
Lifeguard, Beach Road, Judge and Jury, and The Fifth Horseman. And coming over here, I have Michael Connolly's The Brass Verdict. I have Janet Ivanovich. I have a couple of her books here. I've been wanting to read some of her stuff because I've heard they're really funny. Um, but I haven't yet, and I'm looking forward to that. Here I have Sweetheart by Chelsea Kane. Big City Bad Blood by John Shercover. I just recently bought this off of eBay. Uh, first edition and hardcover, signed by the author. And I'm really happy to have this because the hardcover is pretty rare to find. Um, and I got it, I think, for $10, so that was a pretty good deal. And I'm really looking forward to reading that. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Another one of my proudest possessions is Sue Grafton's Eyes for Innocent. Again, first edition hardcover in great condition. Got this for $8 from Half Price Books. Didn't know it until I bought it that it is indeed signed. And I looked on uh, Sue Grafton's Facebook page where she has uh, the value for her books. And apparently if this is a first edition and in good condition and signed, it's worth about $210. And I paid 8 bucks for it. So that was a really, really cool thing to find out. Here I have Tea is for Trespass and Cemetery Dance. And then over here I have like Count of the Baskervilles, Uninvited, some detective stories right here. And some more of my horror. I have like some Stephen King here. And here, Buffy the Exorcist. Uh, so here are some of my Dean Koontz hardcovers. Uh, there's Rep. Butler's People, which I showed you in a, in a haul that I got. Uh, Peter Benchley's Beast. Um, and there's some more encyclopedias. Uh, here are some of my mom's romance books. All the way up to here. Which uh, kind of continues my action, adventure, fantasy section. Uh, here are all my Red Wall books and paperback. And the Jungle Book 2, and another Spiderwick paperback that I have extra. Um, these are drama right here. Like The Great Gatsby, Cold Mountain, those are my mom's. Here's some Shakespeare, Rascal, um, those are mine. Um, yeah, like Old Yeller, Where the Red Friend Grows, To Kill a Mockingbird, those are all mine. And here I have um, nonfiction, like uh, Anne Frank. Perfect Storm. Yeah, here's some more uh, nonfiction ghost story books. And yeah. So there's those. I'm just kind of trying to give you a quick look of everything, really, just so I don't have to go into two parts. And I'm already running out of time, so better hurry this up. Um, more comedy. Uh, or no, not more comedy, just this is all the comedy that we have. Uh, Joe Books, Judy Bloom. Yeah. So those are those. Coming over here, some picture books. Uh, most of these belong to my siblings, and they're mostly books that I've given to them that I had when I was little. However, uh, these Disney books here, I'm going to have to keep because I love Disney. As well as a couple of these Dr. Seuss books because I read those all the time, and they mean a lot to me. So, yeah, there's some books up there. Uh, board games, uh, puzzles... Coloring books. Here's one book I have right here, The Tale of the Swamp Rat. Looks pretty cool. Here are some middle grade books right here, and I'll pan over these. A lot of these are mine. Some of them aren't. Yeah. Alright, and then down here, some library books that I picked up from a library book sale. Coming down here. There's some boxcar children books right there. Scooby-Doo. I love Scooby-Doo. I'm a huge Scooby-Doo fan. And these are all uh, Babysitter's Club books. Those are my my sisters. Uh, those are uh, religious and inspirational books down there. And those are my parents right there. Coming down here, I have like The Wizard of Oz, uh, The Big Fisherman, Hans Brinker. It's my mom's. Another one of my proudest possessions. Um, this is called Silas Crockett by Mary Ellen Chase. Uh, I bought this at a garage sale. I didn't really know what it was. All I knew was old was that it was old, and I bought it. But, um, I'll show this up for you right here. If you could pause the video and just read that. If you can, I'm not sure if you can or not, because it's a little blurry. Um, 
But yeah, I bought it, got home, turned the page, and it is signed. And as you can see, this is from 1937. So that was really, really, really cool. Uh, to, to realize that I got a signed book and I didn't even know when I bought it. That's usually what happens. But anyway, guys, this is my family library. I am running really out of time here. So I'm giving you an overview right here. Uh, thanks you guys, thank you guys for watching, and I will put up another video soon.